I just want to share how good God is, first of all. Um, This time of year is pretty demanding at work, demanding at home, and, you know, people have lots of expectations of you this time of year, and everything just seems really busy and kind of crazy. And God is just faithful in every aspect of my life, and... I just want to be a witness that if you do put the kingdom of God first in your life, every good thing shall follow because we serve a faithful God and his word always proves true. So glory to God. Um, But the past few days uh, or the past week, I have just, you know, just been kind of overwhelmed by the spirit throughout the day. Just randomly, the Lord, you know, and it's busy, but praise God, we have the Lord who just presses in on our hearts, even through the busyness and craziness of our daily lives. And he'll just press on my heart, and I've just been feeling the need to worship him and to praise him and to get down on my knees and just cry out to him to remove any works of the flesh that might still be in me. And to help me overcome that because the times that we're in right now, we're so close and darkness is already falling on the land and it's only going to get darker. Soon it's going to get much, much darker. So we need to, to cry out to God, to cry out that he clean us, that he washes clean, that, that he makes sure our robes are, are white And so we can be ready to be with him and to stand before him. And today, Matthew 5, 6 was on my heart. And it said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And that's really what the Lord wants from us. He doesn't want us to just, yes, I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. And that's it. No, when you truly believe that, something has to take place in your heart. A hunger and a thirst to know the living God should take place in your heart. So I ask you, I ask you, have you hungered and thirst after the word of God, after the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you been to that point in your walk where you hunger and thirst after his word? Because if you haven't, then there is no more time to waste. You need to hunger and thirst after the Lord, after his word. Psalms 119 says that I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And that is what we're called to do. We're called to hide the word of God in our hearts so that we do not sin against the Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who paid the price for us, who paid our ransom, that we may have eternal life and not eternal damnation. We have to hunger and thirst after him. There's times that I don't eat for 12 hours I stand um, and I'm working constantly and I'm so hungry and I'm so thirsty. That's all I can think about. All I can think about is how hungry I am and how much longer I have till I'm done with my last client so that I can eat, so that I can get something to drink because I feel like I'm going to pass out. And that's how we have to be. With the word of God. You have to be so hungry for the word of God. That that's all you can think about. You have to be so thirsty for the word of God. That that is all you can think about. Is getting into the word of God. Is praying to the Lord. Is doing his will. Lord what do you want me to do? How can I bring souls into the kingdom of heaven Lord? How can I bring sacrifices unto you? For you are good and you are worthy Lord. This is where you need to be. This is where your faith needs to be. And how can you have faith 
if you have not heard or read the word of God. Because faith comes by hearing. And you have to hear the word of God. And I'm not saying go to church and get a few scriptures one day out of the week. I'm talking about hearing the Lord Jesus Christ. Hearing the Holy Spirit. Opening your Bible and meditating on his word. Going before the throne of God and begging him to give you understanding of his word. To revive you. To reveal sin, your sin to you. So that you can be washed clean from it. So that you can turn from it. Because there's many pastors in the pulpit right now that know what's coming. But they're too afraid to say anything. Because their eyes have have turned from the Lord and have looked at things that will cause them to sin, have turned their hearts to things that have caused them to sin, and they are not preaching the word of God, and darkness is about to fall. It already has, and it's only going to get darker. You need to know the word of God so that it can be hidden in your heart and you will not sin against the, the Lord your God. Because no sin will enter into the kingdom of heaven. And so you need to have that conviction and that conviction won't be there unless you know the word of God. Unless you are convicted of your sin. And when you sin, you, you hear the Holy Spirit convict you and you have to repent. You repent right then and there. Forgive me, Lord. Help me turn from that. Forgive me, Lord. You need to be on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no more time left. There's no more time to ride the fence. There's no more time to say, I'm not ready to go that deep. I'm not ready to make that much commitment. You have to get on the ark of safety or you will be washed away with the flood. There is a flood of deception and darkness coming. You must turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and get on fire now. The persecution that is coming, no one will be able to be lukewarm anymore you will be on fire for the lord jesus christ because you will have no choice with the persecution that's coming or you will be washed away with the darkness and the deception so make a choice now serve the lord because he is righteous and he is holy and he is worthy and he died for you so it's only right that you do the same for him die to the flesh and if so die Give your life for Christ. If that is.